at any rate, I said I was going to show you how to build a canister filter. Uh, I already did a video on the hang on back filter. And it can be modified easily for a canister filter. But you're going to need a submersible pump. This is just a cheapy um, at zero width, uh, 291 gallons per hour at one foot, 251. Um, and it's going to be about one foot lift for it to lift it out to where actually probably closer to zero so but about 200 gallons an hour is about the range I'm going to need anyway so that's the pump I'm going to be using uh, it still needs to be cleaned up it was in a tank it just wasn't running but I've got to get it taken care of but that's going to be the, the pump uh, got the section of 5 8 tubing that was hooked up to it it's a 5 8 outside half inch inside I'm going to be using that Here's, the, here's what you have. Now, I would never use this type of a, of a, a canister filter for anything other than an end tank filter. But at any rate, so this is, this is how you do it. Uh, in this instance, I use half inch uh, connections. Okay. Now, I need an, you know you need an inlet and an outlet. Put them wherever you want to. I put my outlet in the lid and let down at the bottom. Uh, that way it's just easier. I can put the pump next to it, set it right on the bottom with a short piece of tubing and let the water flow out of the top or I could hook a tube to the water and direct it to somewhere specific if that's what I wanted to do. So get your container, figure out which adapters you're going to use. Like I said, in this instance I went with half inch uh, O-rings. Um, thinking they're 12s, but I'm not positive. It could be a number 12, but just get the correct size O-ring for the adapter that you're going to be using. Once again, I'm using the male and female electrical adapters, uh, barb fittings for connecting the hose to. Now remember, this one was in service before. I'm going to be making some changes to it. Mainly just in the length of hose I, I connect. But at any rate, the way I figured this one out was since my input's down at the bottom, I took a, a length of half inch pipe, drilled a bunch of holes in it. A lot of holes. Same reason as for the hang on back. That way when it's down in there and hooked up, the water will flow to the end and come out the free end more rapidly than anything else. But once sediment and solids start to clog up the filter media there, the water will start to back up the tube and come out all the other openings, which will spread it through the rest of the filter and it'll it, you'll get better use out of your media because the water will be coming through all kinds of areas instead of just one spot seeking the nearest exit. So, uh, rigged that up. Hooked up for my pump to be hooked up to it. Now the good thing is once all this stuff is hooked up, you can actually hang this filter in the tank by the tubing. Uh, it does great. But, and just like all the other times when you're doing this, you want to hold the male end, the end with the gasket. Like I said, I generally put it on the outside so that seals, no drips, no worries. You don't really need anything on the inside because this is sealing. So, but tighten it down and that will compress that o ring and get it watertight. So, but since it's going to be in the tank, watertight's a personal issue, I guess. Make sure the water flows through the filter instead of just flushing back out. But at any rate, take your, look, your tube with your holes in it, get it oriented the proper direction, and insert it. And this goes all the way across the bottom. And just like last time, uh, in the bottom where I want more spread, I double it up and then put it down over, and I kind of tuck it down in over the end of my pipe when I can get it in there. That helps block up the end of that pipe and ensures the water spreads in other areas faster. All right. Then, polyester fiber fill for filling pillows and whatnot uh, works great. Just grab you a moderate handful and like I said in the other video, you just kind of fluff it up this stuff is nothing but polyester fiber. That's all it is. Uh, it's 
used for stuffing pillows, dolls, stuffed animals, whatnot. Uh, you find it in arts and craft stores and the sewing departments of uh, general stores. Uh, but just kind of fluff it up. You don't want it packed too tight because you want the water to flow through it. It can be packed fairly loose and as long as it's filling in all the areas, uh, it still does its job. Because remember, in this instance, there's not any sediment left in my tank. There's a little bit of free-floating algae, but that I'm not that worried about because it would uh, break down quickly since it's uh, plant matter. All I'm after is the fish solids, and those solids are going to be large enough that they're going to uh, pull into the system very quickly, uh, or pull into here very quickly. And I could literally uh, just pull this stuff out every couple weeks, rinse it, and put this keep reusing this uh, polyester fiber for uh, a good little while. And then top, the white goes towards water flow. That's the coarser. Uh, blue goes away. Uh, up on top of here, it's not that big a deal. It just helps keep the polyester fiber from getting inside the little holes and clogging up. Uh, then the uh, same thing at the top. I want the water, wanted the water to be able to find an entrance without just finding one area that's kind of clogged and that it just seeps through and constantly seeps through there. I want it to be able to come in different areas, so I drilled a bunch of holes. Uh, that plus that way I could do my inlet from either side, whichever one I wanted to. But, so that would go in like that. But since I put my mail fittings to the outside with the O-ring, I've got to put it in first. This one I did backwards. I probably should have put the fitting on the inside because remember if you twist the mail, it tends to distort that O-ring. But what I do is I just tighten this down to just the point of distortion. And before it starts distorting, then I can tighten the female side and it will clamp down and compress that O-ring for me. Okay, then boom, right down on, pow, 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 pow. Put that on, snap it down, and there's your canister filter. Now, this is, like I said, is to remove heavy sediment and solid waste before it gets to my river, river tunnel. But it's just to remove the big solids before it gets there to keep the roots from getting clogged up and stuff. So I don't need biomedia, I don't need... Uh, charcoal or any of that. If you were building a canister for your tank, yeah, put a little less polyester fiber, slam in your char bag of, of charcoal. Uh, if you wanted to put biofilter media in it, think it does you a better job, by all means feel free. Uh, but for this size canister filter and the size tank it would work in, I think that the blue and white mesh is more than adequate for this type of situation. For biofilter media. Uh, now, when I put it in the mock NFT system, I will have the tube connected from, from my pump, slides right over the barb. I'll probably shorten this tube. I, I had it longer for another usage. But I can just pop that over the end of the, that, plug that in, drop it off down and tie it off and drop it down in the tank, drop this down in the tank with it. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out of here with a short stub of the flex tube, uh, but since algae, this tube was green as could be on the inside as well, algae grows in any water where it can get light. So if I had a piece of the, this used to be clear, but if I had a piece of this tubing that light's going through, it's just going to get clogged up eventually with algae. So I'm just going to put a short stub of tubing on while it's down inside of the tank. And I'll show you another trick about that. Basically, you can take a piece of old garden hose that's big enough to slide over this tubing, cut it, slide it over it, blocks out all the light, so you don't have the light issue anymore. But I'm just gonna have a short stub and another barb that's supplying the one inch line that's gonna uh, feed to the uh, channel system. There it is, canister filter, uh, works great. Uh, used it to help uh, remove sediment. It worked great for that. I've used it for other stuff. It works great every time I use them. 